December 2013, and well, Typhoon Crosa continuing the weekend out up here, actually uh, really just falling apart. Vertical wind shear is uh, doing its number on it today, and also this drier inflow coming in from the north. We are seeing widespread rain showers and cloud cover at the very least across much of southeastern China, though extending out there towards western Japan and even out towards the Tokyo area. Main reason is due to that vertical wind shear, this upper level trough that came in. It swept up a lot of this moisture, and it's just kind of smearing it off here towards the northeast and that's why if you're here in Kyushu, Shikoku, much of western Honshu seeing a rather gloomy day here today. I know that in Okinawa it looks like the most of the rain showers have lifted towards the north because up until about Thursday, Friday and Saturday you were seeing showers as well. So improving conditions here for you. Also uh, really just improving out here for you there in southern China over towards Hainan. I know that the track for Krosa still expects it to go west but if we just zoom in on the satellite you can see that the center of circulation, uh, yes, that may be going towards the southwest, but the bulk of the cloud cover is drifting off here towards the northeast. And really, that is the story with this. It is going to continue to weaken out as it spins out here, pushes out there towards Hainan. Do I expect a full-fledged landfalling type of system to make landfall out here? Actually, not really at all. By the time this pushes near Hainan or possibly out there towards Vietnam, I mean, take a look at this. Wind's about 35, gusting up to 45 knots. It's going to be a low-end tropical storm with a lot of the moisture removed from it. And that really is the reality with this storm system. It's going to continue to weaken out as it drifts off here towards the wind. This just shows how much rainfall is in it through the early morning hours here on Monday. And really, it just continues to fall apart. See the center of circulation there just pushing south of Hainan. You can see some scattered showers pull up from it but then take a look into Monday afternoon um, by the time approaches Vietnam some isolated scattered showers but nothing nothing more than what the rainy season actually brings out here so I really want to worry too much about this the key things to worry about at this time are actually still developing farther towards the east and I'm talking about a newly formed low pressure area actually two newly formed low pressure areas one right here now this poses the threat of becoming a very very weak tropical depression and I mean minor tropical depression if the Philippines do warn on it which I'm not sure if they will or not I, I wouldn't warn on it I would just continue to call it a low pressure area it's going to be called Wilma as it approaches Luzon, southern Luzon, Visayas, and northern Mindanao. Big rainmaker with this. I mean, just look at the cloud cover coming in from the, the east. And Bagasa does say at 4 a.m. today there was a low pressure area just towards the east of Mindanao. Now, that's going to bring some rainfall and possibly some flooding out here throughout the day, mainly on Monday and the Tuesday. Um, that's the big threat with this. I'm just going to touch on that really quick because the bigger threat and the thing everybody's keying in on, and I noticed it on several websites, including here at westpacweather.com, Jermaine actually posted an update last night talking about it it is this area of low pressure clear out here towards the eastern end of the caroline islands near the marshall islands way over here now the thing that i think scaring everybody about this one and, and it's right to be scared about it um is that this is the same area's formation as last december's typhoon bofa if you remember that killed over 2,000 people out here in mindanao it's south of the vertical wind shear effects out here. Usually those dip at least this far south. So once you get a storm system forming clear down here below 10 degrees north this late in the season, it does pose the threat of forming into a strong tropical system. It still has a lot of moisture forming up from the ITCZ south of the vertical wind shear. Sea surface temperatures in this area, um, needless to say, they are still warm as bath wall. Actually right out ahead of it, I mean, this gets up near about 34 to 35 degrees. So if it passes over this area of warm water, Water, and that's really going to also fuel some intensification with the storm system. And also you can see those pockets of hot water all, all the way out ahead of it, even extending out there towards Palau, which could be impacted by this. Now I say could with a very, very serious aspect on this right now because only a few of the models are picking up on a very strong developing storm system and I knew a few people are saying that it will develop into a strong system. Here at westpacweather.com I try to make sure we gauge all the models. Now this is Navgem showing this area developing there towards the southeast of Guam or well I guess you would say developing but it just keeps it as a tropical depression, maybe a weak tropical storm. It doesn't really quite get its act together. That's the Navgem. Um, see 
CMC also pulling something similar to that. CMC is usually aggressive. ECMWF actually being moderately aggressive, but the bullish one, and the thing about it is the bullish one has been quite accurate at forming storms this year, so we're kind of keeping a very close eye on it, is this GFS model. Take a look at this, heading out towards, well, this is Wednesday and a Thursday. We have a storm system passing just towards the north of Palau, and then some rapid intensification before pushing on shore there into Visayas and just south of Manila. Um, this area down here towards the south, not typhoon country, very prone to landslides, very prone to flooding. If we get a storm system forming this far south, it does bring the risk of uh, causing some damage. Out. And with the West Pack High, the high pressure ridge basically located over the Ogasara Islands, that's going to drive it south of Guam here over Palau and possibly off there towards the southern portions of the Philippines. So this is just a zoomed in look at that GFS model outlook by Friday evening of next week here on Friday, November the 8th. Um, like I said, most models are picking up on something happening. This would be a big rainmaker, a big wind maker, and even for the metropolitan area of Manila. Now, granted, I'm making this on Sunday. This is Friday, a five-day forecast. One model is being very aggressive. So there's a lot of chance, a lot of stuff up in the air, and that's one thing we try to credit ourselves here. We're still going to be a little bit skeptical on it until a few of the other models jump on board but at this time i definitely think you should be getting ready if there was a threat here for the southern portions of the philippines this tropical season this is going to be it if this does follow through and i think in the next 24 hours we're going to have a much better idea of that happening but at this time i mean um the center of circulation with this the genesis is starting to form and what i mean by that it's starting to get its act together you see a little bit of rotation coming in around it and once we get that center of circulation the center of rotation then the models key in on that and it gets a lot more accurate at developing these storm systems so we're gonna watch this and if Everything comes in tow. I might even put out another video update later on tonight. But that is all for right now, though, everybody. If you watched all the way through, thank you very much. Please let me know in the comments section down below. Also, um, I, this would probably be about the 31st typhoon of 2013. Have you been impacted by any typhoons uh, yet this year? And if you have, please tell me the uh, most severe story um, you have seen so far here in 2013. Thanks for watching, everybody, and stay safe out there.